today we discuss uh, chapter 5 rest of uh, the portions of chapter 5 uh, we have definition here uh, a subset s of rn plus 1 is said to be connected if for each pair p comma q of points in s there is a continuous map alpha from a to b so this alpha is uh, a, a function from closed interval a b uh, rather than open interval a b uh to s uh, from uh, this uh, in the interval closed interval ab uh, such that uh, alpha of a should be p and alpha of uh, b should be q this is the condition so uh, once you got such a uh, continuous map uh, we can say that that, uh, that uh, surface is connected so if you con construct consider any surface here and choose two arbitrary points say p and q and we need to connect it to the parameterized curve okay so that parameterized should be fully contained in this uh, surface so then we can say that for this is true for any uh, two arbitrary points p and q then uh, that surface is connected okay these are some remarks s is connected if each pair of points in s can be joined by a continuous map uh, but not necessarily smooth okay this here this alpha uh should be continuous and uh, need not be a smooth function uh, you can construct a, a function like this okay that the continuous the continuity is only needed for this like uh, connectedness uh the uh, one thing you should remember is that curve should be uh, fully contained in s that is the requirement here continuous function which is uh, whose uh, range is fully contained in all, uh, in s now uh, if you consider n spheres uh, say uh, if n is equal to 0 we have uh, x1 square is equal to 1 when n is equal to 1 that is x1 square plus x2 square equal to 1 when n is equal to 2 that is x1 square plus x2 square plus x3 square is equal to 1 and so on okay this is equal to 1 etc so uh, when you uh, consider this surface you can get this is uh, the that for x1 such that x1 square is equal to 1 so that will give 1 and minus 1 these are only two points when you consider this this is uh, this resides in the uh, r2 uh, that is a unit circle and this resides in r3 so that is a uh, unit sphere okay so except this these are all connected you can easily connect uh, uh, any two points uh, of the surface with a continuous map here and here so there is an exercise question you can easily construct uh, the that map explicitly uh, which connects uh, to arbitrary points of this but uh, when n is equal to 0 this uh, unit uh, sphere uh, is not connected because this is uh, one point is minus 1 and another is 1 so this is uh, uh, in r1 this is uh, not a connected set so uh, these are two uh, uh, important remarks now we have a theorem uh, on connected surfaces let s from uh, s is a subset of rn plus 1 be a connected n surface in rn plus 1 then there exist on s exactly two smooth unit normal vector fields n1 and n2 and n2p uh, is equal to minus n1 of p for all p so this are the uh, this uh, uh, theorem uh, asserts that there exist exactly two that is very important two smooth unit normal vector fields can be defined on a connected surface that is very important if we if a surface is connected you can uh, define only two smooth normal vector fields say n1 and n2 and these are uh, connected by this equation and n2 of p should be the negative of uh, n1 of p for all p belongs to s uh, the proof is very simple uh, let f from u to r and c is a point on r be such that s equal to this level set f inverse c with uh, regular points p Uh, then the vector field n1 on s is defined by this it is very easy to define this vector field uh, this is a normal vector field obviously uh, when you con uh, consider this n this is a, a unit normal uh, vector del of p by norm del of p so when you consider uh, uh, the dot product with tangent space you can easily say that that is zero because del of p is uh, perpendicular to the tangent vector so del of p dot any v v from sp this p means uh the tangent space you can get that is zero so this is clearly a normal uh, unit uh, vector, smooth vector field now uh, we need to uh, prove that there is exactly one more 
now you can uh, define another vector field n2 of p is equal to minus n1 of minus of this then uh, that n2 of p follows the all the required conditions now we need to prove that there is no other if you define another uh, vector field n3 you can say that that n3 of p is uh, either this n1 of p or n2 of p that is the uh, uh, required proof or uh, we can continue proof by defining uh, n3 uh, is the another vector field uh, with all these properties then for each p belongs to s v of n3 of p must be a multiple of n1 of p uh, since both lie in the one dimensional subspace sp perpendicular we already seen that the sp, SP perpendicular as that is uh, the uh, del f of p perpendicular whole perpendicular okay that is uh, sp perpendicular so this is a one dimensional vector field so we can say that this n1 n3 of p uh, is the one dimensional vector space uh, lie only one dimensional vector space so n3 of p is equal to gp uh, times n1 of p Obviously, that is a multiple of del f of p. So that is always a multiple of n1 of p because n1 of p is defined to be the uh, vector field uh, del f p by norm del f p. So this g is a smooth function on S. Okay, why it is smooth? This g of p can be written as by taking dot product on both sides. You can get n3 of p dot n1 of p. That is. Uh, uh, here we have n1 of p norm n1 of p square that is 1 so from the right side you can get g of g of p uh, from the left side you can write n3 p dot n1 of p but we know that these two uh, are uh, smooth vector fields so dot product is also smooth so g is a smooth function uh, smooth function means differentiable function defined on all points of p uh, on points of s that means this g is a continuous or smooth function uh, defined on a connected subset so this g the uh, the uh, continuous image of uh, connected set is connected then g of p should be connected but g of p takes the values on, uh, on uh, take only the values uh, plus or minus 1 okay so uh, uh, since n1 of p and n3 uh, n3 of p are uh, both uh, unit uh, vectors we can get this uh, is either 1 or minus 1 so g of p is plus or minus 1 and g of p the uh, range of g of p should be uh, connected a subset of r then this g of p is equal to 1 for all p and uh, otherwise g of p is equal to minus 1 for all p okay this is the requirement so we can say that this n3 of p is equal to n1 of p if g of p is equal to 1 for all p otherwise n3 of p is equal to minus n1 of p that is equal to n2 of p for all p belongs to s okay so we can say that there, is, there are exactly two uh, a smooth unit normal vector field uh, can be defined on a uh, connected surface S. Now we have some remarks. Uh, a smooth unit normal vector field on an N surface S in R plus one is called an orientation on surface. Okay. Uh, in order to get an orientation, we need to define a smooth unit normal vector field on that N surface. Each connected N surface in R n plus 1 exactly two orientation uh, namely del f by norm del f or minus del f by norm del f these are the only possible uh, orientations for connected surfaces now uh, an n surface together with a uh, choice of orientation is called an oriented n surface okay, so in order to get an oriented n surface you need to define an orientation or need to choose an orientation for that surface now uh, there are subsets of rn plus 1 which most people would agree should be called n surface but uh, on which there exists no orientation okay that means uh, sometimes uh, uh, there exists uh, level sets with uh, del fp with uh, p no, uh, del fp not equal to 0 and that can be written as f inverse c e, uh, even though there is no uh, uh, orientation okay still we call those surfaces as uh, uh, those several sets as surfaces but uh, in our study that cannot be considered as a uh, surface okay so uh, for example we consider mobius band okay now in our uh, textbook we have one example for such uh, uh, level set that is mobius band b uh, that is a surface in uh, r3 uh, obtained by taking a rectangular strip of paper twisting one and to uh, other end through 180 degree and 
by tapping the ends together. There is no smooth unit normal vector field. Uh, uh, field can be defined on that uh, surface V. Okay. Uh, this is the rough figure of uh, the Mobius band. Uh, the idea is uh, once you define a, a smooth vector field with a, uh, del f, uh, if, if I write this is uh, del f uh, of p by uh, p by norm del f of p here, del f of p, then we can say that that vector field assigns uh, vectors uh, uh, if uh, if we define n uh, n one here and then that assigns a vector like this at this point then that assigns uh, vectors uh, if this is del of p by norm del of p uh, that assigns that assigns vectors like this here we have this point uh, when you move on to this way uh, we can get vectors like this here we have this vector here we have this vector here then uh, if this is a oriented uh, and surface uh, we can assign vectors like this. Each of the point P, uh, we have the vectors like this. Uh, this is in the other way, and this is here. Here we have vectors. Then we have this vector and this vector. Uh, I repeat it from uh, here. So this is uh, from. Uh, from up, up, up to this point, from this point, those vectors are like this. This is the other the other side. We can get the other side of the vector. This is again that that uh, on to this side like this. Here we have this, here we have this. When we uh, reached here, the, if this is uh, n1, when we uh, start uh, assigning this vector like this, uh, when we reach uh, this point in the other side, uh, that normal vector will be in the other direction. So uh, at this point, we can say that uh, there should be two uh, normal vectors, uh, one is this and one is this. So this will be a contradiction because at the point uh, P we can assign only one vector. So this shows that this uh, Mobius vector, Mobius band never be an oriented uh, end surface. But we, because we cannot uh, assign a uh, normal vector field, even though this is connected, uh, we cannot assign a uh, normal uh, vector field on uh, this band. So we, we cannot consider this as a oriented end surface. That is, it can be seen by picking a unit normal vector at some point on the central, central circle and trying to extend it continuously to a uh, unit normal uh, vector field along the circle. After going around the circle once, the normal vector field is pointing in the opposite direction. Uh, since there are there is no smooth unit normal vector field on B, this B cannot be uh, expressed as a level set or uh, oriented end surface uh, in our definitions. So uh, we cannot consider B as a, a non or unoriented to surface even though uh, the people consider that as a surface uh, not in this sense. In our textbook we are not considering that as a uh, oriented and surface. With this we can uh, conclude chapter 5. Now we will discuss some problems uh, in the next days. Uh, then we will uh, start uh, chapter 6. So uh, chapter 1 to 5. Uh, complete the uh, module 1. Uh, now uh, chapter 6 onwards we will uh, consider uh, module 2.